Okay, uh, Brandon, how how important was the uh, was the bullpen and Lopez getting you into the sixth inning? So happy for Lope. Uh, got over the hump tonight. Got through five. Got into the sixth inning. Probably could have gone longer, but he's, he hasn't been that far gone that far so far this year. So, um, big punch out by Tanner Scott. That's one of the best left-handed hitters in the league. Uh, Lakin's fantastic. Fry, excellent, and then and then uh, Valdi with a really good ninth inning. So. Uh, really, really pleased. We pitched so well tonight. I was so impressed with Lopey's stuff. Once again, throwing 97 sinkers, uh, utilizing all pitches, even throwing some sliders tonight. And then the other guys that came in just uh, did a great job on the mound. Nathan Ruiz, go ahead. Brandon, you mentioned a couple times wanting to get Lopez a big lead to let him push to the, the fifth inning. Even after that double, you keep him in. Just what, what did you think about his response in that inning in particular? It's cut out a little bit, but I think you asked me about Lopez in the fifth inning. Yeah, sorry. Okay, that's all right. Um, no, I was obviously hoping he would get through that. I, I I had Tanner up just in case it got a little squirrely on him there. Um, but I really wanted, I was going to do anything I could to get him through through that inning. I was hoping we would have a little more of a, or a lead and maybe a little cushion for him, but like normal, we didn't. And, um, but I'm proud of him for getting through five and into the sixth inning, getting two outs in the sixth too. So uh, I think he's, he feels good about that. And no walks tonight, incredible job of attacking the hitters again, early in the game, just really on the attack and, uh, Excellent pitching. Next question is from Rock Kubako. Brandon, was that one of the stranger triples that you've seen? And what does that say about Mullins' speed and, and hustle out of the box there? It's going to be the probably the shortest distance triple we might all see. No? Nathan's shaking his head. Is there is there, is there already some stat cast data that there was somebody else who had a shorter triple? Yeah, there was one that went like four feet. I don't really know what happened, but it went four feet. That's really bad defense if that happened. But and then a bad a scoring ball. decision. But this was a great triple. And this was a, uh, you should put this on a educational film for all young players on how to get out of the box. Because it was ball hit and uh, eyes up and incredible hustle. He got to third base so fast. Great heads up play. Needed We needed it. And uh, just a good baseball play by a good player. Joe Treza, go ahead. Brandon, with, with the fifth inning stuff with Lopez, do you think that was more of a physical hurdle or a mental hurdle for him? And do you think now that he's passed it, 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 it can kind of just put it behind him? You know, I thought maybe a little bit of both. I thought the early on in the year, probably physical, maybe possibly. And then, I, you know, he – He's been trying really hard to get through, maybe trying too hard in that in that inning where he kind of cons- lost some command a little bit, a couple walks here and there. But um, I hope he can build on this. And, and he threw five and two-thirds and threw 71 pitches. I mean, that is against the number one offense in the American League. And my, you know, for me, one of the best middle of the orders in the, in the game period of uh, how hard these guys are to pitch to. And... Uh, to give up four hits, no walks, five punches on against this club is is really good. 